Which of these line segments are parallel to each other, which are perpendicular, and which are diagonals? Let's take a look at that. Uh, first of all, when you do these type of problems, I would like you to trace over the lines that you're identifying as uh, what they're giving you in the problem. So if you're talking about line segment AB, then trace over AB to show it there. If they're mentioning line segment CD, trace over the top of that. And we can say that AB, you need a segment symbol over the top, is parallel to segment CD. These two lines would never cross, so they're parallel to each other. Let's take a look at some more examples. Uh, a two segments that come together and make a right angle, like these two here, form a right angle in the corner. They are perpendicular to each other, so we could say that AB is perpendicular to BD with a segment symbol over the top. These two are not perpendicular to each other. This angle right here is obtuse because it's larger than a right angle. This one is acute because it's smaller. Obtuse and acute. These two segments are not perpendicular to each other. All right, what we do call these, if they mention, say, this line segment here and they ask you what that is, that's a diagonal. Diagonals go through the middle of the shape from corner to corner. So we could say that CB is a diagonal. And the other diagonal is AD. All right, if you still need some more examples, some more explanation, keep watching. But we can say that AC and BD are parallel to each other. AC is parallel to BD. And how about some more perpendiculars? AC and AB are perpendicular to each other because they form a right angle right there in the corner. AB is perpendicular to AC. All right, that's it.